thing is electron devices this is first question out of linked question so it is fifth two mark question appeared in gate 2009 consider the CMOS circuit shown below where the gate voltage VG of the NMOSFET is increased from zero while the gate voltage of the PMOS is kept constant at 3 volts assume that for both transistors the magnitude of threshold voltage is 1 volt and the product of transconductance parameter and W by L ratio that is the quantity mu COX into W by L is 1 milliampere per volt square for the given CMOS circuit as shown it is it is consisting of above one is PMOS transistor below one is NMOS transistor NMOS transistor is given with some input voltage which is indicated with VG that is gate voltage of NMOS whereas gate voltage of PMOS is kept at constant that is 3 volts and given that one magnitude of threshold voltage VTP is equal to VTN is equal to 1 volt and the product of transconductance parameter and W by L ratio that is mu COX into W by L which is also called as K into W by L that is also called as beta that value is also constant which is given as 1 milliampere per volt square for both transistors now for small increase in VG beyond 1 volt which of the following gives correct description of the region of operation of each MOSFET if the gate voltage this is if the gate voltage is slightly greater than the threshold voltage by the time what is the region of PMOS transistor what is the region where it is operating for NMOS transistor A. Both the MOSFETs are in saturation B. Both the MOSFETs are in triode region C. N MOSFET is in triode region and PMOSFET is in saturation region D. N MOSFET is in saturation region and PMOSFET is in triode region the correct answer for this one is D N MOSFET is in saturation region and P MOSFET is in triode region how to do these things first we will see the we will look into the details now the given parameters gate voltage of P MOS is kept at constant that is equal to 3 volts so VG suffix P is nothing but 3 volts and source of P MOS transistor is connected to VDD that is equal to 5 volts source of P MOS 5 volts remember that one for P MOS source will be at higher potential for N MOS drain will be at higher potential and threshold voltage VTN is equal to magnitude of VTP is equal to 1 volt and transconductance parameter beta is equal to 1 milliampere per volt square these are the given information you need to calculate what is the region of operation for N MOS and P MOS if the gate voltage is slightly greater than threshold voltage we are assuming that one first case A assume that one VGN that is gate voltage of N MOS is less than 1 volt that is lesser than threshold voltage since we are applying less than threshold voltage no channel is formed under N MOS transistor so that current flowing through it is zero that implies whenever the gate voltage is less than threshold voltage at that time N MOS transistor is off and P MOS transistor is on because its gate voltage is connected to 3 volts so now V naught is equal to this is what the actual diagram given 5 volts this is P MOS and N MOS with P MOS connected with 3 volts N MOS connected with VG by that time N MOS is going to be acting as open circuit and P MOS act as short circuit ideally N MOS is off and P MOS is on V naught will be equal to VDD so whenever the gate voltage is less than 1 volt at that time the voltage at the output side is 5 volts next case B if VGS is slightly greater than VTN VGS is slightly greater than VTN is nothing but VGS minus VT for NMOS transistor is small positive voltage very small positive voltage but the gate voltage is greater than threshold so that NMOS as well as PMOS both will be under on condition now we need to calculate what is the region of operation in case of NMOS and PMOS normally a MOSFET can be either in three different regions one is cutoff the other is active or linear region or triode region the last one is nothing but saturation region so we will see the conditions for linear region 
and saturation region condition for linear region that is condition for triode region for n mass vds must be less than vgs minus vt for p mass vsd should be less than vsg minus vtp if this condition satisfies for the given voltages then the corresponding transistor will be under linear region likewise condition for saturation region condition for saturation region is for n mass vds should be greater than or equal to vgs minus vt for p mass vsd should be greater than or equal to vsg minus vtp so this is condition for linear region condition for saturation region we need to find out the each terminal voltage then you can substitute those terminal voltages in these corresponding equations whether they are satisfying or not we can check for n mass vds vds is nothing but drain to source voltage for n mass this is drain it is source so vds is nothing but v naught so vds is equal to v naught which is slightly less than 5 volts because just the transistor is kept on previously just before the transistor is on output voltage is 5 volts just after the switching on that 5 volt is slightly reduced so vds which is nothing but v naught it is slightly less than 5 volts so that vds should be greater than my vgs minus vt because vgs minus vt is small positive voltage whereas vds is large positive voltage just less than 5 volts so definitely we can say that one vds for n mass transistor is greater than vgs minus vt therefore n mass will be definitely in saturation region like for p mass p mass v naught is nothing but this is p mass transistor v naught the terminal which is connected it is nothing but drain of p mass and this 5 volts is connected source of p mass 3 volts is connected gate of p mass so v naught is equal to that is drain voltage is equal to slightly less than 5 volts that is what we have seen output voltage is slightly less than 5 volt so vsd vsd we can write it as vs minus vd vs is nothing but source voltage which is connected to 5 volts minus drain voltage that is nothing but v naught so phi minus slightly less than phi that is going to be giving small positive voltage so vsd is very small positive voltage we will check the condition for saturation region here vsg minus vtp also will calculate vsg minus vtp then we will compare first we will calculate vsg next we will calculate vsg minus vtp then we will compare those two things so that we can say whether it is a linear region or saturation region vsg minus vtp can be written as vs minus vg minus vtp that is 5 minus 3 minus 1 that is equal to 1 volt so vsd less than vsg minus vtp so definitely you can say that one p mass will be in triode region so the correct answer for this one is nothing but n mass is in saturation region and p mass is in triode region whenever vg is slightly greater than threshold voltage so the right option is d n mass is in saturation region and p mass is in triode region